Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over Worth It version 3. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today I am going to be releasing a Worth It update for version 3. So this isn't the version 4 that I was on about the quite a few days ago or like last week. That one is still in the works. This one, that one should be out within about a couple of weeks or so, hopefully for Christmas. So that'd be a nice Christmas present for everyone with the custom strings, farm planner, everything, all the new stuff coming out. Hopefully we can get that done for then. But a lot of you guys have actually been DMing me and asking when is it actually coming out? And I did do a video about this, but um, aside from that, I have actually updated the uh, version three of Worth It. So if we pull that up right now, it now will currently show Simva or and all of the Shadowlands stuff at the front. So the only things that don't have roots is pretty much the fishing ones because for obvious reasons you can fish them up anywhere in that particular zone. So you just look at location. Aside from all of that, the other different types of roots are for herbalism, mining, fishing, all that stuff. Skinning's even there as well. We've even got a skinning farm. I actually am using the farming route done by Xgar Life because I found that one was really helpful. So I asked him if that would be all right to actually use that for valuations because it seemed to be a very good farm and it worked actually quite well. Um, I, subsequently, I have done some farming on this as well and also got a few other people to actually back up the data logs so we can find a nice average for that. Now, aside from all of that, what else do we actually want to see upon the, all of this? Well, what are the new things basically? So at the moment we've got Simba or obviously that is overvalued at the moment. That is just a bit silly. But you can actually go into your mining and it will evaluate all of the stuff based upon all the metrics. Apparently felt iron ore is doing really well, but it's not because that's on set on DB min buyout. So just so you know. Um, other things of note that have actually changed. Remember that this version three of Worth It will is only a temporary one. It's like the prelude up towards version four. This is so you guys can have a good bearing on Shadowlands stuff and basically just have the basic overview for Shadowlands and then version four will come out later because I know you guys have been waiting quite a long a while in regards to the actual X packs release and personally I don't really want to just keep you guys hanging on the loop as such. So I've made up this. This is just a basic overview of Shadowlands stuff. All of the other stuff is um, that was in Worth It is still there. It's just I've added all of the Shadowlands farms and all that stuff. So you guys have a basic overview. When version 4 comes out you'll have a lot more freedom of use when it comes to all of that. It's just going to take a little bit more time. But you do have your farms for Shadowlands already done depicted on your main dashboard. You can also go into flippings and you can have a look at all of that stuff. So you can have a look at like your disenchanting uh, profits and your prospecting profits for all of that stuff. Lacetroy is actually at a negative value at the moment for me, but disenchanting is pretty good. Milling is quite good, but Death Blossom has lost its loveliness as well. So it's just something you're gonna have to bear in mind moving forward. This is just the basic overview for Shadowlands as we're currently working on version four. I have got quite a few modules to actually finish off. But hopefully you guys will like this as you guys have been waiting for a little while. And then when version four comes out, we'll do like a massive big thing about it. And then I'll go over all the new stuff that's actually coming along with that. Hopefully we could get it done for my birthday and then I can just release it on my birthday. That would be, that'd be the ideal situation for worth it, I would say. But aside from all of that, that is pretty much the version three of worth it. Just a nice little update for Shadowlands farms and flippings. That is the basic overview. Version four will be coming in later on in the upcoming weeks. And that one is gonna be a lot more fleshed out. It's gonna have a lot of different things. So if we went to configuration, we you can actually have like custom price strings and all that stuff. It's uh, pretty damn good. So there's your basic overview. 
I hope that you enjoy it. It is updated as of now. Please tell me what you think of it. And other than that, I will keep you posted on version four. Now, aside from all of that, let's get into the lovely gold for the day, which we've actually had some real good luck over the past night. Now, I always subscribe to the method of one post per day. I don't do any resets or anything like that. Like, I don't do any cancel scans. I, I literally post once a day. That's usually around about nine o'clock at night. That's when usually everyone's asleep. Yesterday I posted at eight in the morning, as I know that's my other key time. So nine at night or eight in the morning, I post around about then and I'll get some decent sales. So what I actually came across today is we've actually sold quite a few things and the gold for the day is 221,365 gold. The things of note are only three things majorly. And that is Umbral Ink, we sold 650 of that for 122,975 gold. I'm quite happy with that milling flip because we bought our herbs super cheap. So I'm really happy that we got that before it started balancing a little bit even more. So very happy with that. Other key things is Luminous Pigment. We sold that 767 of that for 18,566 gold. Not the best sale, but can't compare to the Umbral Ink. The other thing of note is the Potion of Spectral Agility. We sold 98 of those for 56,522 gold. Other things of note, which are the, the little off scrags of all of that, is the Bonefish Stew, 30 of that for 1,751. The Fell Slate, 392 of that for 3,720. And the uh, Iridescent Ravioli and Applesauce, 40 of that for 3,499 gold. Not overly an awful lot, you do have other things, which is down at the bottom, and that's the Frozen Shadow Weave Boots, that's taken over a year to sell. That is Transmog, crafted Transmog. It takes a while to sell, but when it does, you can make a profit. And we sold that for 9,010 gold, so not overly the best, but remember, I wasn't going super heavy into crafted Transmog, but I literally did, did like one craft of that. So, other than that, that is Fell Slate as well, 167 of that for 1,558 gold. Bringing our total up to 221,365 gold. Really, really chuffed about the Umbral Ink and the Potions of Spectral Agility, as well as the lovely Luminous Pigment. It's actually working out quite well to just sell the pigment. Um, quite happy with that. So let's pull in all of that gold, which will bring our total up to a healthy 1,129,991 gold. I'm super happy with the gold for the day for that. That is something I'm very happy with overall. Now, as a nice little keynote for all of this, I actually was doing some thinking. So this is just like the off cut to the video and I actually would like a little bit of a favor. I was looking at the raw gold section under farms. Now, obviously, the raw gold for all of these dungeons and raids have actually been changed. They've, uh, quite a lot of them have been nerfed. And I want to know what the actual true gold per hour for that is now. And I would like a little bit of a hand actually gathering all of this data because there's quite a lot of farms to actually do and quite frankly I am trying to actually work on worth it version 4 as well so would anyone else be interested in just running one of those dungeons and just DMing me which dungeon you did and how much got raw gold you got from that actual particular farm you can pick anything on the worth it list just DM me directly and just tell me what you got for that dungeon. Remember to actually read the difficulty on that though, if you do decide to do that. So like all difficulties on Hellfire Citadel, not just LFR. Um, other than that, that it would be really super helpful in updating Worth It. But other than that guys, that is pretty much all I have to say for today's video. I hope that you like the version three update just to tide you guys over until version four comes out. Please tell me what you think down in the comment section down below because I do read your comments. I read pretty much every single one, even the nasty ones. And other than that, guys, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.
If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources, and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.